Oh, it's a horrible day outside. I'm just having my breakfast. Uh, well, bre I've had my breakfast, having my toast. Uh, buddy's here, look. I keep looking out the window. Mrs. C's just going off to the village shop. I'm just also editing a bit of video, but I'm waiting for Farmer P to turn up. He's due in a quarter of an hour. It's 10 o'clock he's coming in. We are off down the fields to put some stakes in. I've got a problem with a hedge against the neighbor's fields. The deer have been through it and made flipping holes in it over the last year or two. The deer population around here has just exploded in my lifetime. Um, and they've started making holes in our hedgerows. Now, the thing is not too much of an issue uh, in the hedgerows in the middle of the farm, because let's face it, the worst can happen is the cattle get from one of our fields to another. The biggest problem I'm worried about now, though, is that they've made the hedge quite flimsy in places between us and the neighbours and the neighbours all seed rape so I don't want our heifers getting on there because it'll be the young stock they seem to get out more than the cows so we're going to go down this morning and put it bash in a load of posts no, so normally I do jobs like this myself but this is quite a big job and also I probably shouldn't be bashing stuff around at the moment so he's coming in with his hedge rammer post rammer I've never seen or never used a post rammer before so I'm not sure what it's like so I'll be intrigued to see what that's like all right budster Oh, what are you doing? Right, so I'll just wait for him to turn up and then we'll be cracking on with post ramming. Hello, sausages. How can we tell Farmer P's arrived? Bud is at the gate. You must have something that attracts him. Hey? Hello, mate. Look at that reaction to you. You've got a magic way with dogs. I know. I thought my boiler suit was dirty, so I put a clean one on today. Look. Uh, well, it's not I'm glad. I'm glad. That's all. Not as dirty. The bloody zip is broken. I, I don't normally see you in a boiler suit, mate. Do I? When you come round here. Year I do, but you look like a proper farmer today. You cheeky bugger. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll just turn this off. I'll get myself sorted. Okay. I've got dust on my lens. Uh, Sorry, you, you were chatting. Like a, we've had a right rant just now, haven't we? <laughs> Honestly, right. What you don't realise is that half the time, what we don't do at film on We camera, don't tell you half of it. More yeah, interesting than what know. you see. <laughs> they don't need we're, to know. We're like a couple of old housewives here, aren't we? Well, I'm not like Hinge that, and bracket. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to be a certain age to remember Hinge and bracket. Hinge, I remember you? Hinge and bracket, yeah. 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 Right, we've got your beast on here. I mean, Christ, you... How is that driving with all that on? Actually, actually, it, with that on the front, it actually drives better. Does it? Well, it balances the front, out the weight yeah, of there. So that's a nice... Bounce. What make is that? That's, bon a, that's a Bonford, isn't it? Yeah, that's so that is... The more advanced version of ours. What year was yours? Uh, oh, I haven't got a year, second hand. Oh. Uh, is, is it ca it's still cables, isn't it? Yeah, so cable. It's just very two sim two very similar. Two this. Right. So I've got a funny feeling yours is... Can't be that much. Same, yeah. same year. Probably. So Yours it, looks nicer than mine. cheap and cheerful at the yeah. time. So. And it's still with you? Yeah, still got it. Yeah, yeah, still got it. So. And you've got the front on. So this is our hedge banger. Yeah. Banger. Christ, that's a weight, isn't it? 180 kilos. Is it? Yeah, so we have no you worries do, about them. Never, go. ever, ever put your hand on top Ooh, of the post. Oh, be no fingers left there. That would make a mess. Jeez. Yeah. So all it, all this is a pretty straight, simple operation. Is it's straight yeah. up. What about holding the post? That goes in the middle. Yeah, of it. so the post just goes in there. Right. I've forgotten. The, I've got, I think I've got the Mrs. Post. C. Hello, Mrs. C. Um, yeah. So I usually got a couple of pins, which right. should, should be the box. Now I usually just put a bar through there, right. which just holds the post. We haven't got that, won't matter, will it? I'll just. Should, should so I do. I hold the post while you put that to so it. So what, what we normally do is, uh, you all, if we put the post up, yeah. because the grain's hard, yeah. and I'll tap it. Right. And then you'll start. And then I'll walk away. And then I'll bash it. All right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah really simple machine, British yeah. made. Bought this brand new. Yeah. 2004, I think. Did you? So he's done some paste then. Done a lot of posts. Well done. Yeah, I've done a lot of posts. Nice one. Right, should we get on down yeah, before I'll it starts raining again? Follow me. Yeah. I'm gonna get my trailer full of posts. All right. Okay. Well, this should be good. Bit of teamwork. Um, I'm just gonna get get my trailer out. I've got all the stakes on. I've already put all the stakes on, ready. Half the game of any job is preparation. I've I've got the stakes to go. All we got to do is get on down. We were just talking off camera actually how expensive all these uh, materials are. The um, I'm using Creostoke stakes. They're, they're, I think they're probably about eight or nine quid each now. They, they've just gone up loads. But uh, I'd rather pay for the extra quality stakes these days because they're long, they, they last so much longer than this rubbish preservative stuff they put on. 
the, the sort of green stakes now, they just don't last. Right, I'll just open this gate. And let me get the trailer out. Right, we'll have a look at that when we get down there. Oh, I've got a bucket of bits on there, I don't want to take that with me. These are all the bits that are packing the, the stakes. Right, let's get on down the field. I'm not sure how many stakes we're going to put in. I, I really don't know how quickly that thing will do it. I mean, it looks like it'll do a pretty quick job. I've got a pretty full trailer of stakes. I mean, basically what I did, I just put in the whole pile of stakes I had because I thought I'm not driving down there and running out of stakes and then having to keep coming back. So, and also I wanted to make sure they were all dry. So that's why I put them on the trailer in the shed ready. So they're under cover because it's not very nice handling wet stakes. Um, and sure enough, that was the right thing to do because we've had a bit of rain overnight. So I would have ended up with a horrible pile of wet stakes to handle. So anyway, we're heading on down. Ian's following up, it's convoy. We got ourselves a convoy, trucking on through the night. Something like that. Is that smoking the bandit? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're smoking the bandit. Who's the bandit here? Don't answer that. <laughs> grey day today. You know, it didn't have to change things when you get a grey day, didn't it? And yesterday was lovely and blue. Blue sky, lovely autumn day, and then we're we oh, there's a pheasant just flown over. Look, two pheasants. It's gone over the hedge. Oh, you can't really see. They went. I've seen a lot of pheasants around now. I guess the thing is they're they're probably sort of trying to tuck into any winter food they've got. Uh, there's some berries around now still on the on the hedgerows and stuff. Uh, I've seen a lot of them flying around lately. Uh, cock and hen birds. Right. Uh, we're going on down. Right, we're nearly there. I was a bit worried for a moment. I was thinking, it would Ian get through that hedge? And not the hedge, through the gate with the um, with the hedge trimmer and that on, and the banger on the front. Because you know, there's a lot to look at when you're driving through. But of course, his tractor is probably pretty well the same as this tractor, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem really. Right, we're going to start. I think we'll start by this old pond here. We're going to work our way down. Whether we run out of um, stakes or not, will remains to be seen. I'm not sure where I should park. I should park so I'm not in the way, really, shouldn't I? Great curb. Oh, he's got his dog with him. I didn't realise he had a dog with him. Let's get out and have a look. There we go. Oh, I've got a whiff of creosote. Well, I love the smell of creosote. Here's our dodgy edge. Here's Ian in there. Let's just have a look. You see it's sort of gappy all the way through. They've been working their way through. Little run through there and then all the way up. What's best then? Is it best I just put stakes out every so often or how do you like doing However it? Whatever you want to well, do Well, you it. tell me, you're the, all you're I'm the gonna, boss. All I'm going to do is bash them. All right, yeah. basher. I'm just going to bash them. I put, I mean, ideally we just keep running all the way down to that maple down the bottom, but it depends how long you've got and how long. I've got as long as. All right, we got. Well, I run out of stakes when we run out of those. All right. I, that's all the creosote ones I got. So if we get going on. Do you want the? Just. Got the hedge pushed back before I do it. What do you think? Again. Well, I've got the flag I mean, there isn't much hedge to push back. I'm worried about it being too thin. You is see. There any wire in there? No, there's no wire. There's nothing. This is the problem with this hedge. Look, there's yeah, nothing. Would it be worthwhile then we just bring the play like flat on the floor? Okay. And yeah, that might be best. Just go along the floor. You're right with that. Yeah. Brilliant. You can see you can see the problem though. I mean I just chucked a stick in here. They just they just keep going through. Yeah. You can't I mean they're not, not too bad now at the moment. But what do is stick them on the barbecue. Well, we've that's been trying. That, stop him, isn't it? We've been trying. <laughs> I do like Yeah. There's quite a lot of barbecuing to be done. Yeah. <laughs> if I um yeah, if I All right, if you go as far as that oak, you see the one that's just down there sticking out with no leaves on it. Yeah. And then we'll do this section and we'll see how we go. All right. All right, you happy yeah. with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think All right. it looks like do that, then it just, just makes it nice one. So. Right, I'll leave the flail where it is for a minute. So the, um... we go, Ian's just going to get going. This, this is brilliant. Shut the sunroof, don't want any bits going in. I better not get too close, don't want any bits getting out, chucking out towards me. Oh, 
Oh, is he going right to the bottom? I don't know. I did say from that little oak tree there that that's the one we saw in the summer where the leaves. Oh, he's swinging around now. I think it's better to do a section at a time and just see how we go. Here we go. That is, I think if he gets in there, he's got to be a bit careful. There might be some stakes in there still. Because the I was fencing around that, but he'll find them if they're there. Perhaps I should take them away. The fencing stakes sort of collapsed. As the tree got bigger, the stakes rotted off. So what I did, I actually cut them off. Or well, cut them up and I'm going to take them out of the way. Right, here we go. So that just tidy it up. You can see here all the blackthorn that, that grows out from the hedge. It is a real pain, this blackthorn. So the hedge itself has got quite thin and gappy. But the blackthorn is creeping out. But you can tell, look, we've had some rain, look, if you look at the back, look, you can see this sort of condensation or the water coming off the uh, chopped up um, edge. There you go, that, that, that'll make life easier to tidy your job, won't it? Walked in my hand like that. going to side it as well which is good I guess the sets in while you're here do 120 acres will you we just found a K mark that's for heat detection we put those on the back of the cows and then if one comes on heat the, the other cow rises back and that little die capsule bursts and so it shows us that the cows on heat on heat I normally write the number on it so let me just see yeah look I think that's one that's my brother's writing I think that's 162 on there you can't really see it very well Right, he's going to just tidy that up. That's obviously not bullying that because that's been down here for ages. He's going to tidy that up. Let's see how many stakes we've got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 24. About 54, I think. I bet that's wrong. It's around 54. So you can do the maths on that. If, that, if they're, say, nine quid a mistake, you've got yourself a fair whack of money just sat there. Look at that. Right, here's the engine. Tidying up. I, on the front linkage on this, yeah. I found the easy way to do this is set it at four, because you can set this at whatever angle you want. Oh, okay. So like a, for, oh, okay, so that flips out. I wonder, so wonder how it's it going to work. 90, 90 degrees, 40 degrees, straight yeah. in, whatever you want to do, because most people have these on the rear linkage. Yeah, so you just reverse up. So you so, got, so you would okay. If you're hitting the post in um, hard enough, the idea is you can just go along a line, mm. not the post in, and then just lift him off high enough right. that this goes over the top of the post. Yeah. That's the plan, but um, on the front linkage, I tend to stick it at 45. Well, once we've done one, do you want a hand? No, once, once we've done one, I'll know where we're going on this. Yeah. All right. So I set that at that. Right. Basically, I can then drive up to the post. You're driving in at I can see the post at an angle. Yeah. And basically, we set the height of what you want to go, and then 
And then Bob's your uncle. Yeah, the thing, the thing is with this, you may as well have the posts in as deep as you want them. Yeah. You know, have them, have them right in, so... Yeah. Biscuit, leave them alone. Where is he? Hello. Oh, All right, well, I'll get a post ready then. It's in really firm, but when you judge it, yeah, you judge it what you think's right. Yeah. All right. You, I mean, I can't judge it because I'm not used to that thing. Yeah, I'll probably go down a little bit more. What's that creosote on your hands, mind? All right, we're going to go in. We're going to go in a little bit deeper. good and firm okay so we, that one's out a little bit further than I, I want the rest of them they're gonna get them in tighter down there right so me and Ian are gonna put these in I will put up the cam thing see what he thinks it, it's gonna take us a while to do this I'm not gonna film every single post because that'd just be ridiculous hard, isn't it? that is hard isn't that's it hard. we haven't we haven't had much rain have we that's yeah. the whole thing yeah. but that's in really firm isn't it yeah but you want to you need to get me in yeah, rock it's hard. Point in no, the post at the top no. Here, so, I don't know. I, you, you know where it's got to be on that. I mean, I, I just have to put the post in a bit. There. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Which is, I mean, I can't believe the weight of this thing. It's it's a beast, isn't it? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. You, Better than I can do with my sledgehammer. Put a log splitter on it. Can you? Wow. You could, you could do, could you? Yeah. Put a yeah. blade on there. I mean, the interesting thing is, you see, I mean, you'll find it hard with that. Yeah. So there's no point in me even trying to do it with my sledgehammer. You would definitely give yourself a heart attack. Oh yeah. Let's <laughs> not go there. Let's not do that. Yeah. You would definitely. Yeah. Do and I got uh, right. So I'm going to put another one about here, somewhere about here. That's how I judge it. A little fair duck gap because I've I've got a hedge behind, and we're going to go on down. Ian's just breaking his machine. No, I just I got the. Pokes on the wrong way around. So Have you? Oh, well, they're levers. Up, I, was I know. The... You get used to doing levers a certain way, yeah, don't you? Yeah. It's the, I'm like that with a bail grab, right? I'm going to put one in here. We'll, we'll film this bit and then we'll have a recap a little bit when we're a bit further along, I think. Right, we are on the second one. I'm going to film this one, then we're going to have, we'll have a recap when we've done a, a good run. Let me just get on this. It's really grey. It looks grey on this camera. Right. That 
is a beast of a machine. But look at it, whacking it in. And Ian knows exactly how to do it. Makes it look easy, but it's not always easy. But well, God, that's saving me some work with my sledge up and flipping here. Those posts aren't going anywhere, but I'm really pleased about this because we've seen the show as well. I hopefully will never have to touch this fence again. Crack on! Right. Okay, we're going to crack on now. We'll be back when we've done a load of them. Tell you what, we are really flying through these. I can't believe how how good that machine is. It's incredible. Look at this. We've got a good row going up here now. We cracked on. Didn't take long. We got a technical hitch. We got a bit come loose on the rammer. But in the meantime, look. You can see how far we've gone up. This thing, this machine's amazing. It's an awful lot easier than. Oh my life! I can't you're believe not, you're it. Not stupid with one of those. No, I haven't. I haven't got one. Oh, have you not? No. Oh, so when, you're when you're hitting the men, you think you're going right, and then the, it's top of the post and it comes and bashes on top oh, of the I haven't managed that yet. Can yeah. you see this motorway here from the deer, look? <laughs> the deer motorway. Straight through the Reggie's field there. That's why we need to fence this. You've got a technical problem there, have you? Yeah, no, the... Um... This tripod's gone down. Have you lost a bit? I just take... No, I haven't lost it. It's just that um, I'm not going to undo yeah. that. Yeah, you, you don't... Do you... Yeah. Well, well, you're pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. The post, so. I'm impressed what you're able to do on it. You're very accurate. Oh, You've got to you. trust the man on the tractor when you're putting, holding the stake, though, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's quite funny when you jump there when I tap it. Yeah, <laughs> I jump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also worried about the creosote on me. I don't want to get. Yeah, burned. you don't want to get too close. I mean, it's not actually coming. It's, out. No, it's not coming out the tops, is it? Oh, it might be a little yeah, bit on yeah. there. Look. That's when you got when it starts working. You don't want that on your face. No, you don't. As I know from previous experience. Burn. You suddenly look like you've got a suntan. <laughs> I remember someone commenting on my video. You look really red in the face. You don't look like you're very well. <laughs> Problem was, it was actually um, creosote burns from stakes. Look at look. This is where the this is where the hedges got really bad here. Some of the hedges actually, I think it's died out. out. I blocked it off with those branches because blooming deer are just going through and there look another deer motorway look you can see I think they're still going through there now look you can probably you can just see the soil's all bare there they're sort of running through the interesting thing is if I put this wire up I, I've seen it many a time the deer still get underneath the wire so I'm not blocking a path of a deer but what I'm doing is I'm stopping the cows who are taller they won't get through it so we're not actually disturbing the deer's path of where they go we're just stopping them destroying our hedge till we eat them yeah num 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 i was talking to someone for it it talking to someone about haunch of venison that is a lovely i've got a bit at home oh it's a lovely roast dinner that is oh it's warm isn't it yeah well i'm not doing anything i'm boiling yeah but i'm not doing a lot i've got the aircon on there have you yeah some oh, Nancy look at, yeah. Yeah, dog up there, look yeah. at him. Oh yeah. He's having a lovely time, isn't he? Oh, look. He's got a good view. Dossy knife that yeah. is, isn't it? Watch for rabbits and growling. Watch your rabbit. If he sees a deer, he'll be banging on the window. She, uh, there was a couple actually over when we were ditching the other day. Yeah. And uh, she saw them. I just go on then, oh, there, right? She's gone. It's like, <laughs> our, like our dog with squirrels. Yeah. But he hasn't seen a deer yet. How many? When he does, he just he just wants to go after anything like yeah, yours. It's, it's just terrier, isn't it? It's in him, isn't it? Chase it if you get a chance. Chase it, it, eat it. Chase yeah. it, kill it, eat it. Yeah, chew it. Chew it, okay. chew it. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. Should so we? I can't. I can't nudge the post. Um, no, we right. Spanners are just that thing. So. Okay. Unless you want me to go and get a spanner. Just nudge your Do you want me to get a spanner? You're right. No, we'll manage. We All right. Go. We'll get as far as that tree. Yeah. And we have a breather. Get as far as that tree, we could always put the kettle on and get a spanner at the same time, couldn't we? Out, well, we can do. What time is it? As long as I've got to be, I've got to be finished about one. Oh, have you? Oh, it's yeah. 20 past 11. Well, yeah, we might have to have a cup of tea afterwards. Oh, have a cup All of right. tea afterwards. Yeah, How about be... that? Yeah, yeah. Mrs. C might make us a sandwich. All oh, right, oh, I I'll, well, I'll, I'll text her and see what she says. <laughs> Mrs. C, if you're watching this, oh, too late. By the time I put this out, <laughs> we'll have been there and done it. Right.
one for the bloopers. All right. I think you need to. Probably hit a blooming piece of rock here. Let me just turn this off. I can't concentrate on this and film. Let's get on with the job. Ooh. We had a bit of a technical hitch there. I had to go back up the farm. I didn't film it. I'm not filming everything going on here. Uh, I had to go back to the farm because I had a bolt coming loose on the front. And then uh, we had a we've had a post snap off because look. There's a knot in the wood, look. Weakness just there. So we're gonna go on, I gotta get some more stakes out. Let me just crack on. Right, I'm gonna put this down again. We'll have a look at the end. We'll, because otherwise we're never gonna get this job done. I've run out of time. I forgot my gloves. I left my gloves at the top of the farm. So I'm worried about the creosote now. I'll make sure I don't rub my face. Ooh. There we go, so we're on the last, the last one on this stretch here. There have been a few issues. I think there's some rock under here we don't realise about. A couple of the posts have snapped, so I don't think we could help that. Ian's on the last one on this run. We're nearly coming up to lunch time. I don't know whether he's going to want to do any more, whether we're going to quit. Let's have a look. So, see another one snap there, but it's the ground, there's rocks here. Oop. Get out of the way. So Tiverington is renowned for its rocks. Uh, it's got a quarry up there and as you know we've got a seam of rock across where our mate is right over there the thing is because we never plow these fields up I don't know where the rock is quite down here but it's quite likely I think there's rock through here so we've kind of hit it with the, the post stone like going in and if you can't get them in the ground with this post rammer I got absolutely zero chance of getting them in with a sledgehammer so here we go I think we're done now, I don't know he's going to park up what we're going to do quite, that's not a stake, I'm not going to put a stake in there, let's go and see him in a minute, he's coming out. Fair play. You've got something harder than dirt in there. Yeah I know, I, I, I'm amazed, I didn't know what was down here to be honest. Well, that was that post isn't moving, that 180 no. kilo weight is bouncing yeah. off the top of that. I ain't going to try and worry I'm about just, that. I'm just going to snap a little bit off. Yeah. Careful, so. it, I reckon there must be another ridge through here, mustn't I? I was just saying on camera just now before we stop. I mean, we never play this, so you don't know where it where yeah. it is, whereas we know where it is up Jones's. Yeah. Because the uh, the maize doesn't grow I'm and we plow it up. I'm trying to keep them straight in here. Like, hey? I'm trying to keep them straight. Well, you don't look at, look at the job though. I mean, this machine's amazing, isn't it? The time is saved. Well, yeah, it's, it's, well, I wouldn't I, want to do that by hand. Well, that's what I was up <laughs> against. I, I, I wouldn't want to that do was my Ian. I was fit. Every I post you see around this farm, I put in by hand with a sledgehammer. Yeah, well, I haven't got any ridges of stone no. through mine, so. No, well, I didn't realise there was any down here. Yeah. That's an amazing well, job. It's not stone, it's hard, whatever mm. it is. It's not a gas main going through there or something. It's a gas main. <laughs> Wait, do you see that video? When the bloke put a stake for a gas main? I did, yeah. And he blew up? Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, there's no gas main through here. <laughs> It'll be me who gets blown up, not you. Our main's over there, he's 30 yeah. inches, that goes across us. So. Yeah. All right, mate. Yeah. All right. I've just had a chat with Ian. We're going to do another section. This piece down here isn't so bad. Um, but we're going to do, we're running out of time. Lord sod, isn't it? You, it doesn't matter how much time you've got, you always never have enough. I, the problem is I haven't got time this afternoon. Ian's very kindly come down and do this without, you know, he volunteered to do it. And uh, I'm not going to take him, take the Mickey. So he needs to get a lunch. I'm sure I can find something in the farmhouse for him. Um, but we need to, uh, we need to do what we can. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to do about half of what, if we'd had loads of time, would have gone all the way down here. But we're going to do the worst bit, if you like. So that means we haven't run out. We haven't sort of. Well, what I don't want to do is him trimmed out the hedge and then we don't finish the job and then what I've done is I've made the hedge more appealing to the uh, deer so we don't want to thin it out and then not do it so we're going to do just this piece here up to there and to be honest me and my brother could probably sledgehammer in a few down there all right so if we go to about here 
I'm going to get out of his way. I think that's an achievable bit there. stewardship agreement which means I do pest trimming every two years rather than every year which is supposedly better for the wildlife because you get the berries on the hedgerow and that is definitely true you get more berries on second year growth but what I have noticed is that the hedge takes a hell of a beating on its second year of trimming and I don't think it recovers and grows as well as, as when you cut it every year um, and I think some of the organic people cut every three years which then your hedge must just take a hell of a knock um, so I sort of wonder whether you do gain in a way because you you give the birds the berries maybe but the hedge I think our hedges deteriorated because of this biannual hedge trimming I think they just can't hack the kind of whacking back um, anyway we've got this piece to do we'll crack on get on with it good old Ian fair play to him for helping me it's amazing I'm really grateful for him for helping me yeah, I'm just moving the trailer now uh, I'm just going to move it so it's easy for me to chuck the, chuck the stakes out. Like a rapidly shrinking pile of stakes. I've got my tools there I have to bring down to sort out the the uh, post rammer. That's why we stopped the bit of the metal bracket that holds on the, you know, you can put against the post. One of them came off and we couldn't get a bolt undone. So I have to go back up the workshop and sort that out. So I didn't film everything because it's just, you haven't got time. Right, turn this off. Am I all right there? I think I'm all right. Right, I'm gonna get some more stakes out. I've just got to keep remembering that I, I mustn't touch my face because I have got new gloves with me now and I don't want creosote on me. Look at this, the pile's rapidly shrinking, isn't it? Haven't got many left, there's probably about a dozen there. Wow. Let's see that one down there a minute, we're nearly at the end. Look. Let's get that one up. Right. This machine's brilliant. The man on it's good as well. Alright, let's go. One more down there. Right. 
Oh, I'm getting hot. It is mild. It's so mild for October. And what's it like where you are? Is it mild where you are? It's not raining either. A bit of rain, but not much. Let's put this down here. I think there's only four more to bang in after this. I don't know whether we're going to do any more or not. Put this down a minute. Hey, that's the last one on this run. It's whether we bother going to the corner. I, I'll work with you and see if we can. Yeah, we've got a bit of time. We've got on, we cracked on better with that. We're going to finish it. Ian's going to side. Ian's going to side that down. And we're going to go. I can't believe how much we've achieved today. <laughs> I need a pace rammer. Well, the, the thing is, the problem is, I don't actually knew, do that much fencing. I do the odd stake here and there, which hardly justifies putting a pace rammer on most of the time. But when you're doing a long stretch like this, it's, an, it's a, incredible. Wow. Look what, look what Ian's achieved today. Look, he's got started from up there and he's managed to get all the way down here. All the way going along. We, we, we're done to there. We literally got to go down there. I don't know, let's see how many posts I got left. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stakes. Eleven. Right. So we're going to get eleven stakes in and hopefully that will take us nearly to the corner. I think we don't need to slide down there because it's not grown out that much. I'm just going to start putting these back out. We are nearly on the final hurdle. Let's go. We're on this last bit. There's a bit more stone again here. But uh, while he's just doing that one, I'll just show you. We've still got the dead grass issue here. Look at this. In amongst the good grass, it's all this manky old grass. I'm going to have to get out here with the chain arrows. I, I can see next spring, I'm going to have to chain arrow all that out because that's going to come out really. I might do that when I do the ring feeders. If I, um, you know, I said about doing the ring feeders, I've got a chain arrow around where they've been, that's where I've been feeding the hay. I might go down here and do that. That's quite, it's sort of like a fat, not very good. Anyway, I think we've got six steaks left to do. Crack on. Right, we're on the final one now. What a relief. Look, last steak. And we've got literally that much left to do. So I'll do that another day, just put a strainer in there. And uh, we're just on the last one. So we lost a couple because it seems they snap where the knots are. It's a weak spot. Oh, we're still doing that one. I've left it. I've got it a bit far out from the hedge there, I think. I'm not going to change it now. Um, so yeah, so as I was saying, where, where there's a lot of knots, you can see a knot there, it's a weak spot. So when the whacking down happens, they've been snapping off. I think we lost about three. And it's obviously there's a lot of resistance in the soil where the stones are. So between having a knot and the stones, we've lost the post. Right. Let's get that one in. Going well. Right, so this is the very last one. Tidy that up there, sign that up there. I will stand back once he's put that down. Whoop. I don't like it when he drops it, I have to stand back. to the corner. Another field maple that. Oh. 
Job done. Well done, Ian. That's a packing up sign. Packing up Sweet time, put your two posts short. Packing up time, put your toys away. Actually, like, we hadn't broken two. Two, well, they just went in there with those knots. Yeah. Too short, but that's all right because I've got to put a strainer in there anyway, so that'll be another day. Yeah. Christ, Ian, you've saved me a hell of a lot of work. Saved I, you a heart attack. I owe you big time, mate. <laughs> that's two curries then. I, well, it is. <laughs> I'm going to say we'll have to go out. When I come back from half term away, yeah. We'll get out, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I take it, where do you want to go? Wooten or Thornbury? I don't, no, 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 I don't want Let's go somewhere different. All right, yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, so, no worries. We're gonna, I'm going to pack up now. We've got, you don't need to film everything we say, are there? No. As we said before, everything we say off camera is more funny. Yeah. More funny. Yeah, what? but we can't share it because... No, it's because it's not politically <laughs> correct. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should have our own cha TV channel, just the two of us. Yeah, like, yeah. Like yeah. flipping Selwyn Froggett yeah. and flipping Vera Lynn. Not Vera Lynn, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling now. Yeah. Talking rubbish. We're well, good sure, at that. I waffle as well, so don't worry. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. You're welcome. Crack Thanks. on. Farmer P, legend. All right, chisel. <laughs>